Hello and welcome to Xinhua Live. We are now reporting from Shunde district of Foshan city in South China's Greater Bay Area. This place is known as the home appliances town in China. In recent years, Shunde district has transformed from a traditional manufacturing industry with low technic content and added value to a highland for science and technologies. Companies here speed up their research into core technologies and key materials to better compete with their competitors around the world. As a result, home appliances developed and made here are becoming smarter. For example, smart door lock, intelligent sweeping and mopping robot, and multi-function cookers. These home appliances are gaining popularities around the world nowadays. So an open and inclusive innovation autumn spheres has been formed here, and it also attracts more young promising talents here. So our guest today is one of them, and let's welcome Gianna. Hi. Hello. Hi, Gianna. Hello, my name is Lai Jiang, and you can also call me Gianna. Yeah, last September, I finished my master's degree at University College London, and after graduation, I've been working at my dear as a cooking research engineer. Wow, cooking research engineer. Yeah. It sounds pretty cool. Could you tell us more about it? Yeah, talking about my job, mm -hmm. it is a fascinating thing. Mm -hmm. Yes, as you can see, mm -hmm. I worked at so yeah. the foodie commune, right? Yeah, Shunde is one of the world famous food capital. Yeah, and combined with the support of science and technology, we have carried on a deeper exploration of food on this land, and the foodie commune was born. Okay. Yeah. So by exploring the principle of food processing, we can apply the result of our research to our products so that customer can enjoy them easily at home. We built one main land with three abroad research centers dedicated to cooking technology and content research mm -hmm. and development. Based in Shunde, we have set up follow food research centers in Germany, Japan, and the United States. So you have other like res research and development centers overseas, right? Yeah, so for me, it is a fantastic place because I can work with people from all over the world with a passion for food. Yeah. So we are now arriving at the lab you are working, right? Yes. It's more like a, a well-decorated like a, a sample room here. Yes. So. We will do a lot of cooking experience mm -hmm. based on people's needs, mm -hmm. uh, such as bread, mm -hmm. steak, pizza, roast chicken, and french fries, and so on. Mm -hmm. Okay, food science is a combination of like tradition and uh, uh, fashion. So that's your bachelor degree. Yeah, yeah, so as like me, uh, post 19th generation, mm -hmm. we are committed to innovated the products based on the traditional cooking and people's need. Mm -hmm. So this workplace has full of uh, like creativity mm -hmm. and innovation. Mm -hmm. And it encourages us like think outside of the box. Yes, yes. speaking thinking outside the box. Yeah. You can tell from this this board. And what what are these? Yes, these are our like lot of cooking experience. So we will like write down. write down the temperature and mm -hmm. other uh, evidence mm -hmm. to make sure the best cooking effect. Mm -hmm. Yes, and combine with the like machine innovation mm -hmm. so that we could find out the best, like the best environment for the food. Yeah, yeah. We see there is a temperatures temperature here, and this is the uh, like the heating heating tubes. Yes. And we have the source and yes. the, the fish, fish here. Yeah. Okay, so for me, I, I, I realized that maybe part of your job is to like writing some instruction 
um, instruction book for customers or even writing some recipes for them to how to cook a better food with your yes. machines or yes uh, one of our job is to like work with people worldwide mm -hmm. to develop and research some recipe mm -hmm. uh, there's an interesting things that I have a uh, out, an outstanding mentor. Mm -hmm. He's a chef working for a world famous restaurant mm -hmm. so that we adjust according to Michelin standards mm -hmm. to research the recipe. Wow, so follow your recipe. Even ordinary people can cook their Michelin yes. dishes at home, right? Yes. So we can see there's a lot of like um, different ingredients, cooking ingredients here. Yes. Okay, and later on, we're gonna like cook our own dishes, right? Yes, yes. So we are now arriving at the kitchen area, right? Yes. So here we, we are going to cook some dishes. Yes, today. Of course. And this is Chen Yao. Mm -hmm. Hi, Chen Yao. Hi, I am a consumer insight research engineer, mm -hmm. and I'm also a new employee in this company. Mm -hmm. My job is to conduct qualitative and quantitative research for the global global market and guiding our um, product development, technology innovation, as well as marketing decisions based on our localized consumer insights. Okay, so here we are going to cook uh, some dishes, right? Yeah. As we mentioned, and I, see, I just see the steak, right? Yeah, so the so, first dish is mm -hmm. steak. Okay, great. So steak, why do you choose steak to develop your products here? We have been keeping close track of the eating and cooking habits of global consumers. And in a qualitative research overseas this year, we um, invite consumers to upload their cooking diaries and have one-on-one -on -one interviews with us um, to show us their life, what they eat and how they cook. And we found that um, Grilled steaks are one of the most common dishes in the Western country. Exactly. Uh, yeah, and although people are fond of steaks, they um, cannot cook the steaks well at home. Yeah, they also they always use the pan to cook the steak. But yeah. here, you guys introduce them to use the micro oven, oven things to cook steaks. That's a brand new, totally a new concept for them, right? Yeah, it's. A, a little bit more convenient than um, have to control the stove top themselves. Mm -hmm. And in order to help them grill steaks that taste just like those in restaurants, we handed over the research project to Gianna and her team. Okay, Gianna, so it's yeah. your turn yeah. to cook, cook has some delicious things here. Yes. And we have seen the, um, we have steak here. Salem steak, mm -hmm. and it's the most common steak in uh, overseas. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So the step is very simple. Mm -hmm. We just use the paper towel to dry the surface of the steak. Yes, yeah. like this. Wow. And just season with some salt and black pepper yeah black pepper and salt yes the best matches for yeah. the steak okay. actually you can tell from the color and the texture of the steak it must be a very good steak <laughs> yes do we, do we need to massage it no okay just spray some pepper yeah, it's very simple mm -hmm. Actually, it's very hard to cook some steak with this kind of like the height because yes. very like uh, the, 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 you can't make sure how it's gonna like media well or mm. it's well done things. So, but we have a secret tips mm -hmm. and we have this one. Okay. Uh, it is a wellness pop. Mm -hmm. So we can use this wellness pop like a stick. Let me show you. Mm -hmm. This is a wellness pop mm -hmm. it's like a stick so let me show you we just put it into the stick and uh, use this one this will show the temperature of the stick inside the stick yes we could always connect this to our phone 
Yeah. So you can tell the uh, temperature from your phone. Yes. Even if the stick is in the oven. Yes. Wow. So we use this wireless pop to get smart control of the stick dentist. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So we are going to put the stick in the oven, right? Yes. Okay. And we have to take this out. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So after preheat, then mm -hmm. we can put the stick in the oven. Mm -hmm. So the oven is already preheated, right? Yes. So at what kind of what temperature? Twenty, two hundred degree. So we have the function grill. here. Yeah. And uh, it's a grill. And we choose the conventional with fan. Mm hmm. Two hundred, right? Uh, and uh, ten minutes. Oh, sorry. So after 10 minutes, yeah. what kind of steak we are going to get? It's a medium well yeah. or well done thing? Medium well. Medium well. Yeah. Well, I like that. So, okay, just, so 10 minutes. just look at your phone or mm -hmm. this one. Mm -hmm. We'll show the temperature, temperature of the steak, right? Yes. So it, since it's already in there, yeah. so we can tell the temperatures right now. Yes. Could you so show you us can here? Say, see the temperature, maybe maybe 20 degrees okay. now, and after maybe medium rare is 50 degrees. Mm -hmm. So when it shows 50 degrees, then we can take it out. Oh, yeah. Great. It's very simple. Yeah, and yeah. you can also use your phone to monitor monitoring that, right? Yes. Okay. So when we talk about a good stick, mm -hmm. it needs to make a grill marks on the surface. Exactly. And with tender and juicy inside. So our team think that the most convenient way for the customer to cook the stick mm -hmm. in one step is to use is without using other cookware mm -hmm. or flipping half away. Yeah. So we want to release the things. So we must innovate on both hardware or the cooking curve. Mm -hmm. So for hardware, we use a graphene heating tube. Mm -hmm. This one can heat up in 0 0.2 seconds. Mm -hmm. So this tech technical allows the stick surface to get browned yeah. and from grill marks quickly. Wow. And then through many experiments, our team optimized the best cooking environment for the stick. It can make the stick cook as well as those in the restaurant. Oh. So just waiting and we can see that. Yeah, yeah. it's very convenient for some um, like beginner cookers yes a beginner people to use the oven to do a steak like tasting like a restaurant because yes. they don't have to worry about if the heat is too high yeah. or too low and, and to flip the steak yes, yes. and to make sure the steak is golden brown with outside yes. and a tender in this inside right yes okay so okay. let's wait for the steak yeah So yes, after resting for about five minutes, mm -hmm. then we can cut the stick. Okay. 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 Wow, we can see the outside, the surface of the stick. Yeah. Like golden brown. Yeah, yeah. golden brown. And I love the crispy things yeah. on the other side. Okay. Okay. So now we cut it. Actually, we can see the texture. We got the lovely pinky color inside, and we can see the moisture texture yeah. of the meat, it right? Is juicy and tender inside. Wow. Yeah. So it's, it has been cooked for 10 minutes. Yes. And even without flipping sides. Yes. Here. Just one step. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just, just put, put it in the oven. oven. Yeah. And could you show us the other side of the steak here? Yes, of course. Yeah, we yes. got the crispy golden brown color in both sides. Yeah. How do we do that? I think that's the secret of the technology, right? Yes. We can see we got the lovely pinky color here. 
and we have the crispy outside. Yeah. We can try. Okay. Yeah. Wow. I don't think. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna try. You like to try it yourself? Okay, just try myself. Mm. It's very juicy inside. Yeah, actually, the meat is very juicy, mm. and we can tell from the outside. We have the. It's very moist. It yeah. doesn't taste dry at all, mm. and it keep the flavor of the steak. You can really taste the original flavor of this thing, mm. and you can tell it's really a good steak. After tasting the delicious steak. I have a question for Deborah, because usually we are using the pan to cook steak, mm -hmm. and it's very oil. And mm -hmm. but what about the oven? Is that very is that difficult to clean it? Cleaning the oven is also actually a pain point that always mentioned by consumers in the steak grilling journey. Yeah. I think you can relate to that. Um, but in this. Uh, R5 wall oven, we use non-stick enamel materials to make the cavity, you can see from here. So the material is non-stick here, as yeah. we can see, yeah. and you can use the uh, paper you can tower. You use the paper tower to wipe and it's clean. Yeah. Is, is that, that's so easy, right? Yeah. And you can just grab some paper tower, just clean it. And it's all, it's all done. Yeah. You don't have to like put it in your washing machines or something else. Yeah, I think it, that the tray you can put it in the washing machine, and mm -hmm. for the cavity you can just use a paper towel to wipe it, and it's done. Yeah, yeah. So I think the core technology here is is the material of the the, the interior of the oven, right? Yeah. And. Um, this oven is for the uh, most foodies and home cooks in the mid to high M market mm -hmm. overseas. Uh, it's an all-in-one uh, oven that does well in microwave, air fry, bake, and steam. Wow! So it has like multifunctional. Yeah, multifunctional. Oven. So we have the grill thing, and we also have the auto menu and multifunction. Steam microwave, yeah, ferment, ferment, and it's using for if you want for, to for, do some for bakery, bakery, yeah, 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 here. for bakery. Wow, that's wonderful. Yeah, and for some uh, steak and burger lovers, mm -hmm. we are also developing some even more professional appliances. Wow, glad to hear that. Yeah, apart from grilling, mm -hmm. we also found in our big data research. Uh, that people overseas are steaming more often for healthy concerts. So they are more focused on their own health. So they choose to steam vegetables or meat for them for their daily recipe, right? Yes. So we choose the lobster, mm -hmm. and you know that to steam lobster well, mm -hmm. we need an extremely rapid temperature rise mm -hmm. and a highly moist environment. Mm -hmm. So our steam oven can generate uh, one hundred degree mm -hmm. yeah and the steam just in 20 seconds okay so the large quantity of the superheat steam can retain more nutrition such as protein mm -hmm. and vitamin okay look the ju juniciest and freshness and bring out the authentic taste of the food yeah okay. so next i will show you how to cook the lobster in this oven okay this small thing yeah it's different like the, from the wall oven right Yes. I think for many young people, they can have their own thing here yeah. at home. Yeah. Even they don't need to uh, need a lot of big space here. Yes, of course. Okay, so let's do the lobster, okay? Okay. So we have the water tank here. Yes. And yes. put it back to the yeah. Yeah. oven here. Yes. Wow, lovely lobster. Yeah, so we just put it in the oven. So it's already prepared, right? Mm, yeah. Do we need to preheat the oven or no. something? Just put it into the oven. And choose. Yeah, we just choose the function is fast steam. Fast steam, okay. Yeah. And just 12 minutes. 
Okay. So what about the temperature? One hundred. So we just wait. Actually, we can see the temperature is uh, going up here. Yeah. It's now is forty three, yeah. and it will going up to one hundred, right? Yes, yes. So what is the core technology in this machine? Uh, in this machine, we have superheating steam generator, mm -hmm. and this technology can uh, produce steam in just twenty minutes, uh, twenty seconds. Mm -hmm. So it is a large quantity of superheat steam, and this steam can retain more nutrition such as protein and vitamins, and lock the juices and freshness, and bring out the alternative taste of food. Mm -hmm. Yes. So the uh, nutrition and the, uh, uh, in my opinion, I yeah. think the nutrition in the food can be well preserved by yes. cooking in this way, yes. because the temperature can going up in a very short time. Yeah. So uh, nutrition can be well preserved, and people uh, eating that can get the the most of the nutrition yes. from the food, right? Yes. Okay. So here is our lobster. So we're going to cut the lobster here. Yes. Mm -hmm. And yes, you can see this. Mm -hmm. The texture here. Yes. It's very juicy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's very fresh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How do you tell if it is it's well cooked or uh, it's very um, cooked with nutrition? Yeah, there's an easy way. Mm -hmm. If you see the shell is become red, mm -hmm. then maybe the inside is is well done, mm -hmm. and you can see the meat. Mm -hmm. You see the meat is very juicy, mm -hmm. tender, and, uh, yeah. right? Yeah. So we just put the lobster mm -hmm. into the oven, just one step, and it's your lobster is done. Yes. So after a hard day working, yeah. you just come home and you don't feel like doing anything. You just put your lobster in the oven yes. and wait it for 10 minutes and yes. you can get your lobster down yes. here. So you can try. Okay, thank you okay. so much. So we can see it's very tender and with the pinky skin here. Yeah. Maybe we can season with some salt. No, I think it's just fine. Okay. You have the original flavor of the lobster. Yeah. And the meat is very tender and you can really feel the, the texture here. And it doesn't cook over overcooked. Yes. So I think it's great. During our research and development, mm -hmm. we need to communicate with various technical teams mm -hmm. so that we can know more about the oven structure better and to uh, get more comprehensive about the Products, uh, practicality. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So cooking is not only your job. You yeah. also need to communicate with different colleagues from different departments. Yes. Yes. Of so course. So here we are. We have like colleagues from other co departments. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we have Deborah here waiting for us. So Deborah, what are we doing here? Um, this is our research um, results. Mm -hmm. We know that. Uh, Extra crispiness is the most important texture that American consumers want. They want pizzas to be not soggy and crispy, and steaks to be um, crunchy and crispy and brown on the outside, while moist and tender on the inside. Mm -hmm. So here we have, we can see, here is like this little oven, but with yes. the wires here. What are the wires for? The wire will check the temperature mm -hmm. inside. Mm -hmm. So we can see different parts of the inside the oven. Yes. We have the many wires here. Yeah. And he next to it, there is a machine. Yes. So we'll use this machine uh, to do a lot of cooking exper experiments mm -hmm. so that we could optimize the best uh, cooking environment mm -hmm. for various food. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we have the uh, temperatures here yes. and the different index here, right? Mm. Okay, mm -hmm. so another core technology I heard is the, is this one, right? Mm, yes. Could you? Yeah, we have a new technology, graphene heating tools. 
which light up or instantly? Oh, each time. Oh, very light up instantly. Wow. Moment. Moment. Yeah. So you can see that there are three tubes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this one is called phenomenal heating tube and it is one of the secret of our oven. So this tube can heat up in just 0 0.2 seconds. Yeah. yeah. Compared to other tubes, this is the common tube. Mm -hmm. It just heat up in 23 seconds mm -hmm. and the other tube just heat it up in 72 seconds. Wow, it's so, more than a minute. Yeah. So this is uh, like the metal metal tube things, kind of like metal material. Yes. And this is your core technologies. Mm. So this this is the reason why we can cook the steak or the pizza, uh, just as well as the food in the restaurant. Yes. For me, it is a living place. Manufacturing has given me a fertile ground that allowed me to ground growth rapidly. It's hope that the products I involved in research and development mm -hmm. can benefit more and more customers. Wow. But for me, uh, today's live is not only a cooking lesson or tasting tour. I have a more vivid idea of how cutting edge technologies has been applied in manufacturing Chinese home appliances and are making Chinese products innovative and more competitive on the global market. And that's all for our today's live. Thank you for watching and see you next time.